at the end of the day on uh, today's date in 2023. Where do you think we stand when it comes to we, in a sense, uh, earlier you gave such a fantastic example, uh, Doctor, I loved it. Uh, we are between India and China today, two of the largest economies in the planet. Learning from both of them and grasping and soaking from both of them, what are your suggestions? I think the, the reason for the progress in, <clears throat> in both countries in the last decades is very easy. It's more less state, more economic freedom. This is what happened uh, everywhere in the world. Of course, every country has to find its own way. You can't mm -hmm. uh, copy it one-to-one. -one. Every yeah. country has its own tradition. But what, what all countries that are successful, what they all have in common, that they have more economic freedom. And um, this is also, uh, I, I wouldn't uh, mention only China and uh -huh. India, but the other countries that I spoke about. Uh, you have so many countries in Asia that were really successful in the, in the last decades, I think. You know, uh, you, when, when the government would be smart here in Nepal, they would do the same thing as Deng Xiaoping in China did in the beginning of the 80s. He sent hundreds of people all over the world uh -huh. to look why they were successful, what worked and what, what not. This was the first thing that he did. He sent out some hundreds of people, especially they went to Singapore. And he was very surprised what such a very small country, Singapore, how absolutely successful they were. And then when, when they analyzed it and when people came back and told him and he himself, Deng Xiaoping was also in Singapore and saw it, then um, he, you know, they, they saw that all the things that communists told them about the bad capitalism and how bad is the living of people there, that it was all lies, that in reality they had a much, much better life than they had in China. And then, then when they came back, they started with uh, experiments. This is, this is special economic zones that I mentioned. And so I think, um, for, for example, I spoke about this um, limit with 20% profit. What's the craziest things I've, I've ever heard? I, I don't know whether there's any country in the world where you have limit to 20% profit. So what I don't understand when you see it's nowhere in the world are this tariffs, high taxes for cars with uh, 200, 250%. So when, it ha when it's nowhere in the world, does, does the government think here they are smarter than everyone else in the world? So we are smarter than everyone else? No. Uh, if, if your country would be the richest country in the world and people have here a great life, you know, if they are very wealthy, then I could understand if they say, OK, don't tell us anything else because uh, we know how it goes. But when people are poor, you should think, why is that? And when you see that you have some restrictions for foreign investments, for, for making profit and so on, that, that don't exist in other successful countries. Mm -hmm. So I, I would love it when I come back to Nepal when, and when, when some people make big campaigns, maybe starting with some topic like this 20%. I yesterday had an, an, another interview with her with a newspaper here and but he told me yes but a lot of people in Nepal they they like this 20% because they think it's greedy if you take more and it's a maybe it's bad to have profit no people first should understand profit is good is not bad every company has to make a, a, a profit if a company doesn't make a profit it's dangerous because sooner or later this company will go in uh, insolvency will get bankrupt and mm. and a lot of workers will will lose their jobs and only if they make profit they can work and they can uh, they can grow and they can hire Advanced, yeah. you and so i think this is important 
a change in the mindset that it, it means uh, profit is good and it's not bad. Of course, I speak to making profit in an honest way, of, of course. And this is the same for a country as for individual person. If you want to be successful, if you want to be rich, and, uh, you know, I, I, I wrote my second doctoral dissertation about mm -hmm. the psychology of super rich uh, yeah. people. And I have now this book here in uh, Nepal uh, about um, 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 uh, how to think, uh, uh, how to set yourself bigger yeah. goals. Yeah. And yeah. Um, bottom up, it's very easy. When you want to change your life, first change your mindset. Think differently. Why are some people more successful than other people? Very easy. Be, they are they are more successful because they act different. And why do they act different? Because they think different. Mm -hmm. And so the first, if you want to change something in your life, change the way you're thinking. If you if you go on doing the same things as you did before, how can you expect different results? And the same with the country, society. If you go on doing, I think, this 20% limit, I think it's since the 60s or something like this. If you go on with the same thing, why it's not logical to expect any different results. So this is what Albert Einstein uh, said one time. If you do the same thing in the same way always and you expect different, different results, results, it's insane. Yeah, and it's going to be mundane. Thank you very much for watching us on YouTube. Make sure that you also listen to us on Spotify.